Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to be putting together the Mainstays three shelf bookshelf bookcase. That way you can see how quickly it's to put it to assemble and realize that you can do this yourself as well. So I already then pulled everything out of the box. We have our instructions, we have all our small pieces, and we have the main pieces. So the first thing you want to do when you're assembling projects like this is make sure that you have all the pieces that you need and all the tools. So it says we need a, a hammer. We have our hammer right here and all our pieces. So we have F, we're gonna separate them all too so that we know where they are. And then we have, this is, this looks like piece G. I guess the label's not on it, but it's self-explanatory, it's inside. And then we have part A and B, so. A and B over here. Let me check that because I bumped it. Okay. These are part E. We'll put them right here. And then parts C and D. We'll put them out of the way over here. That way we know where everything is and can get to it easily. Next we have all our small pieces, so we have our Allen key, we have our caps, those are, there's 10 of those plus one extra. We have our nails, there's 22 of those. We have 10 screws, 11 wooden dowels, and our shelf support. So I got the scissors to open these up as we need them. So we're now on step one, which I will put a picture of what step one is in the video, and that is adding the wooden dowels into parts A and B. So here are our wooden dowels. They're very, very simple and easy to use. I like a lot of these cheaper to put together things, use them a lot. So it looks like we need eight of them. And so we have four for one. Four for the other. So there's our eight. We got our part B. This is all dusty. It's been a couple months I was supposed to do this video, but I've just been busy with life. So we take the wooden dowels, you stick them inside, they'll slide all the way in. Pretty simple on both sides. Very simple. Anyone can do this. We grab our part A. So this is for A and B. Now what these do is they help lock the pieces of wood into other places, other pieces of wood, so that you don't need to screw and use nuts on everything. So that's step one. Step two is to take part F, which is this little piece, and insert it into part B with the last three wooden dowels. So we got three holes in the bottom here. We'll take our last three wooden dowels. We can toss that away. We no longer need wooden dowels. They're already done. Very simple, very simple. And then you have three holes on B, the only one that has it, and you just want to put the three dowels into the hole, slide it down, get a gentle tap along with the hammer, make sure it's snug, and that's step two. Step three is you're going to take part D and connect it to the bottom of part A and B. And it looks like we're gonna need the screws on this. And we have the Allen wrench for the screws. So we got the screws. I'm gonna need, looks like, looks like we need four screws or five screws. One, two, three, four. Looks like five screws. So I'll take out four, five. If we need more, I'll get more. But let me get this Allen wrench out of here for us. Or Allen key, as they call it. Okay. 
Okay, toss that out the way. You always want to keep a clean workspace for the most part so that you don't lose any, anything. So we need part D. Here's part D back here, which is why we organized everything fairly quickly, early. And we're going to be, okay, so this is the bottom of part D. And we are going to put, okay, so we're going to put part, part A on this side. Make sure you get each piece onto the right side that it's supposed to be on by looking at the pictures. In the pictures, we can see that part D has two little holes at the bottom and one on each corner. And the two little holes at the bottom are for this piece and this piece. So if you get it like this, insert the wooden dowels into the holes on part D. Like that, and then you get the wooden dowels on part A. You'd insert them like that. Make sure your stickers are to the inside as well because that'll keep your thing looking uniform and your sticker is to the bottom on part D. So then you'll take your screws and now your Allen key goes right inside. It's just a black, black pretty tight. And then we just tighten each one. They go, they're pretty standard. They'll go all the way in on their own. They're screws, so you can make them a little snug if you want and tighten them in all the way. This will probably be one of the more time consuming slots on this. Okay, that's one screw in. Might need a little bit more room. If you don't have enough room to turn the Allen key to full away, you can use the long end and it'll just be a little bit harder and you can twist it in the same way because both sides work. And then as you get closer, you can switch to the other side and snug it up kind of like a, a screwdriver. These are really, really small. You don't want to use power tools because if you go too far in, next thing you know, you're splitting the wood and damaging the product. That's why it says you don't use any power tools in assembling. But if you're really good with your tools, it's possible that you know what you're doing and you could. I brought it out just in case I needed it for anything. Sometimes you just want to do things differently than What's described? This is this is the hard part because you gotta get it tight, and these things are hard to hold. If you have small hands, it'd probably be easy for you. I got big hands, so this gets clunkier for me. Okay, that's two screws in. Yeah, this side. I could put the third screw in the bottom over there, but I like to get all four corners first. As you can see, I'm dressed pretty casual. I still have my safety glasses on because safety is important. Oh, so I push that through a little bit. So what I want to do is bring that back out put that back in and hold it in place as I do it. Use your hand as a vise. Keep it nice and snug so that you can keep it from moving. Make sure it's straight because you want the screws to go straight. They will put holes in it if you don't because they can screw their way through. Okay, yeah, that's perfect right there. So 
So this one, like I said, don't have a lot of room on the bottom. So switch the Allen wrench around the long way. Since we got that top one in, it's holding like a vise for our bottom piece. very simple anyone can do this stuff and sometimes I wonder why everyone isn't doing it themselves I think they're intimidated by the idea we move these parts out of the way a little bit they never put stuff together they don't realize just how few tools you need to assemble a lot of the stuff that's in stores and then you end up getting a cheaper, more inferior product that falls apart the second you add any weight onto it. And you know, you just don't have to suffer like that. This stuff, it's not that complicated. This one, you're not gonna have any space. So you have to just, I, what I can do though is if I wanted to, I could probably flip it over and give myself space to work with, which I think I will do. Got to be very, very careful because you can't put any weight on there. It's not very heavy, so you could do that. And now I got it flipped over, so now I can get full leverage on this as I and I spin this like this. see the shelf is pretty much already coming together it's very simple we're going to be done here very soon because what we're going to most likely do is we're going to do the the same thing we did here on the opposite side i'm guessing with the last piece add in okay so that is done and that is step three step four is like i said same thing, opposite side. So we have we have our part C. Make sure you have your three holes in the right spot. So we've got our three holes up there. And we got the rest of our nails, all five of them. So that could be out of our way. I have long legs, so I get off all the way out of the way. So you insert the wooden dowels again into the piece, and then same thing on this side. Your wooden dowels are your guides. They're gonna tell you exactly how to line these up. And then you insert your screws, and we'll do that one more time. So this time we'll do it a little bit differently. Okay, one that one. We'll get the second one up here. You just want to take your time. These are very simple to put together. It's a three shelf case, so the hardest part, in my opinion, is just getting these into the correct position to screw. And the dowels help you with that. And then the rest is pretty much self explanatory from there. It's the, the Allen wrench turning, Allen key turning is the most time consuming part. But 
but as you can see, I'm not using barely any effort to, to do this. Any, I think a, a teenage kid could put these together if they wanted to. These are super light, super efficient, and the instructions for them are really, really simple. Really, really simple. So, I can sit it up like this now because I got enough screws in there to get this top one in. I do have one more for the bottom. But as you can see, we got it pretty much put together. We're going to add in the uh, shelf pieces, but we can do that last. My guess is the next part is going to be to nail in the the backing so that you have the backing on the shelf, which this is the front because you have the bottom piece to block stuff from going under it. Okay. So this one, I'm going to tip it down real quick so that we can get full leverage and turning. I like to get full turning leverage because you got a lot of dust on this floor. It makes it easier to put it in instead of having to use the, the long end and have short turns and very little to hold on to the turn. As you can see, we haven't used any power tools and all we needed is a hammer just to tap in that bottom piece just gently, very gently. You don't want to damage it by hitting it hard. It doesn't need to be hit hard. You probably don't even need to hit it at all. You probably hit it with your hand and get the same effect. Okay, that's step four. Yep, like I said, step five, you want to put the backing on. So you got the backing, as you can see, it's black on the inside. So then we just want to lay it out. Oh, they did even nice, they did a nicer thing for us. They even put holes where they want the nails to go. So we'll cut these out. These nails are really, really small, so I don't want to lose them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull them out one at a time. So, oh, there's one right there. I don't know. There, oh, there's another hole in here already. I cut through it. Okay, so you gotta be careful. But I got my hammer. And they gave us holes for where we nail these in at. Just get your backing all even, all around on the back. And then gently, gently prime the, the nail. You don't want to hit your hand. So gently prime it in, and then you want to go with gentle, straight down taps. This hammering can be an acquired skill, because if you don't know how to hammer, I got to move, I got to oh, pull them all out and put them on these so that they don't slide anywhere. Okay. I got them right here. Yeah. Hammering can be an acquired skill because if you don't hammer a lot, you can get used to hitting it incorrectly. I'm not even that good, but these nails are small enough to where you can make them nice and snug with the cardboard. And then you don't gotta worry about them at all, cutting anyone or hurting anyone because they're all the way into the cardboard. You can rub your hand across it. I can rub my hand across it without any issue. But we got holes, and this will be our last part really before we put the we put the shelving in.
work it in there. As I said, you gotta be careful because you don't want these, these nails are long enough to come out of the wood if you hang on to that poorly. Remember, keep your hands clear. You wanna tap just hard enough to push it down a little bit. You don't wanna, you don't wanna fill it with a hammer. I believe the instructions said we have one extra nail. See that one in at an angle, but it was still straight, so I didn't mind it too much. If you want, there are smaller hammers out there that you can take and use. Okay. I like to make sure each screw is, or each nail is snug so that if I ever go to move this in the future, I don't randomly cut myself on anything. If I can't run my hand over it, then it's not safe. Because that could be anyone that could rub their hand over it and have an issue. You don't want to cut someone just trying to help you move. And that's why these are made of cardboard in the back, so that you can get the nails deep inside of them. If you didn't know the difference between a screw and a nail is a screw has a corkscrew around it and the nail is just flat and you have to hammer it in. You don't hammer screws in. You screw screws in. We got two more to put in. And the simple last part. It's just putting our shells where we want them. All right. So there goes all our mills. Our backing is in, as you can see. And then our last, oh, we can do this part next. I'm guessing. So all the nails are on in part five. So last part is putting our shelf, shelving pieces in. These are interchangeable, so you can make the shelves whatever height you want. You could have the shelf all the way at the top and all the way at the bottom, leaving your middle for really big items in between. That's how we'll start mine, and then I'll adjust it according to, the, to what I need. And we only have 40, so be careful not to lose these. These are the things that tend to get lost a lot when sometimes they slide out and someone loses them or because they hit a shelf or something and bump it or they move it and they lose it. Your shelves are number E, they just slide in and out. They don't, so you gotta be careful not to, you gotta be careful not to just put this now whenever you have extras left over you can save them for other projects put the so, span this a little bit and just sit it right down on top simple enough put the letters to the bottom 
slide it in. Sit it right to the top. And then that is it. That is all the steps needed to complete your shelf. So thank you for watching this video. Let's see how long that took me about. Looks like it took a, less than a half hour to do that. So you too can also make this shelf. It was very simple. I think these are about 30 bucks at Walmart. So get you a shelf, put it together. See you in the next one.